Thank you. Thank you, Senator Padilla. Senator Hawley. Oh, I didn't. I'm sorry. I didn't see Senator Blackburn walk in. Senator Blackburn, you're recognized. Mr. Chairman, and thank you um, for being here, and congratulations on your nominations, and you guys are doing great. All the kids in here today are doing a great job, so good parenting. Um, Mr. Kohler, I want to come to you on the Gibson case. And this is, uh, do you remember that case? Yes, sir. The defendant, okay, Mr. Gibson, he was charged with three counts of bank fraud and one of aggravated identity theft. And I think we would agree these are pretty serious offenses. And both the government and the probation office recommended that Mr. Gibson be detained pending trial. But you decided to ignore that and to release him. And even when you did this, you noted his long arrest record and the numerous pending charges that were there in his multiple failures to appear in court. So you noted every bit of that. And then your word defining it was to say it was troubling that he had had these attempts to flee. And despite every bit of that, your recognition of it, your admission of it, your mentioning it, you decided that he should be released pending trial. And I would just like to know why you made that decision. And the reason is because in Tennessee, as I talked to Tennesseans, what bothers them is the rise in crime, the fact that prosecutors will not prosecute, and that judges will not sentence people. So as I reviewed your record, that one stood out to me. So I would like to know why you decided to release him pending trial. Senator, public safety is incredibly important. Uh, it's something uh, that I worked for um, uh, within the confines of the legal Okay, system. well then let me stop you right there. Because you also made the statement that he is, and I'm quoting you, likely a danger to the community. He may attempt to flee. So public safety was not the priority. S Senator, okay. I work in a hierarchical system, and in that case, I specifically noted that I did not have briefs in front of me, and I subsequently have indicated to both the prosecution and defense that if anyone were to brief that issue, I would consider it. And let me explain what that issue was. The Bail Reform Act and binding precedent tells me when I can release a defendant on conditions or when that defendant should be detained pending trial. I'm bound by the Bail Reform Act that was passed by this body. The Bail Reform Act itself is written in a way that I had to make a decision without briefs and without a good degree of case law in a quick uh, uh, as, as circumstance where the government was focusing on one prong. Under the Bail Reform Act, there's two things that are usually argued. Whether they're okay, in Okay, so you're saying it was a process of, decision. It was a decision that I felt I was bound by the okay. plain meaning of the Bail Reform Act. And I made clear in my decision in writing that I had okay. to make that finding on that particular right. record well, and let I made me, clear let me